What's up guys, this is Krupp and I'm doing another Team of the Week player review. Um, this week Soldado came out in form and he wasn't very good, I did a review on him on my channel, I really wouldn't recommend buying him. Uh, but Lebiad came out as well and he was quite a similar sort of looking player to Tarat, and Tarat is my favourite player in the game so I thought I'd try him out. He has 4 star skills and 5 star weak foot so he has 1 star less skills than Tarat. On card he shows 85 pace, 76 shooting, 71 passing and 82 dribbling. His notable uh, in-game stats, I don't show them, but are 89 acceleration, 88 ball control, 91 agility, 85 shot power, 83 long shots. So as you can see he's quite a well-rounded player. Um, he's not like a game changer like some players are. Maybe Tarat is more of a game changer than him. He's quite a good team player. Uh, one of his cons is that his work rate is only medium defensive and medium attacking. A lot of people do like um, high high attacking work rate uh, attacking midfielders. Uh, but he does get back and defend and there are a few clips in here I think of him doing some defensive work. Um, so that's good. He's also got um, really really good passing which also makes him um, maybe a better team player than Tarat. He sets up a lot of goals, probably as many goals um, as he scores. Um, especially uh, with the team he plays in. Uh, I found this team really really good for the Biad. Um, there is actually a video of this team that he's in. It's really really cheap. Uh, it shouldn't cost you more than about 40k but um, it's a bit of a hybrid between uh, the Barclays Premier League and uh, the Portuguese League and I link him up with Torres very well on the other side uh, and Torres scores so many goals uh, partly because of um, Le Biad. So um, his pros, obviously he has 5 star weak foots like Tarat and that does mean you can take some um, long shots, he has got 83 long shots, uh, some informs have better long shots but um, he does um, seem to hit the target as well as uh, many other players that I have seen. Um, his agility is 91 um, which makes him quite hard to tackle being one of his problems is that he's not very strong so he can get shrugged off the ball so some of that agility makes him into more of a messy like player in the sense that um, he's a little bit more difficult to tackle despite his uh, quite low strength. Um, his shooting is very very accurate like uh, this week I reviewed Soldado and he just couldn't hit the target but Lebiad uh, on the other hand his shooting was lower on card but I found it hard not to hit the target with him so he's a definite definite good shooter um, he's quite pacey 85 pace there are obviously quicker attacking midfielders but he seems to do the job for me because um, despite him being an attacking midfielder like in most attacking midfielder formations you will actually find him on the wing a lot um, so you do need a bit of pace and he does have that and he can outrun defenders uh, I'm sure as you have seen on this video his um, free kicks and um, penalties are also quite good as you can see here um, I scored a really really nice free kick straight under this guy's wall and I just want to say that this guy I played this was in a cup final and he was really really good and I did park the bus for like the last 20 minutes or of the game and I feel kind of bad for that but regardless um, he is probably not as good as Tarat but not far from being as good as him so um if you're making any sort of Moroccan teams, maybe skill teams with uh, hybrids and five star skillers with like Asadi and Tarat, he's definitely a player you want to chuck in there. Um, he is definitely worth the 20k uh, that you can pay for him. And overall, I would sort of uh, rate him about 8 or 9 out of 10. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, there'll be more uh, informed reviews next.